What is up, everyone? I am Matt, also known as the Gaming Rebel, and we're gonna play through some more Azure Striker Gunvolt today. So, we started the gauntlets last time, with the first gauntlet being the biochem plant and subaquatic base, followed by a boss battle with Merrick. I don't know why I have to go through all that, so you guys probably saw. So, special mission two this time, but... I have also been doing a little bit of level grinding and material grinding as well. If you go here, it'll show that I'm level 51, 450 HP. That's gonna be good. And I should have some other gear as well. I need to, I need to remember to take that off. So at this point, I actually do have the Ambienolis. I got a triple boost band. I'm not gonna keep that though. I just got it because it gives me access to the better version of, well, I'll show it off real quick. And soon enough, you're gonna see that I'm gonna have two dynamo eyes, but I do have all these other ones as well. So I think we're all good at that point. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll just quickly show this and then I'll move on. So, after creating the triple boost band, if I can get down here, it gives me access to what's called the Sky Tether Band, which allows you to perform as many air hops as your EP allows. I'm going to be trying to get, well, obviously, the Sky Tether Band Plus, so that way I have so many air hops that I can pretty much avoid just about anything. This is what I'm going to be going for when I get to the final uh, special mission, Gauntlet 5. I just will not accept going after uh, that until I have this. And then, of course, if you created the double traction ring, you can get the full traction ring, which does the same thing, but with continuous air dashes. That's pretty much it. There's not much else that I can really show off. Now for Jewel, because we gotta talk with her. Jewel was doing something over by the sink. <laughs> yakisoba. Ah, yakisoba cup noodles. I guess she's making dinner. Oh, yeah, the whole instant noodles thing, yeah. I don't know how to follow up on that. Seems like Jewel has a major misunderstanding about this. Then she poured the water out all at once. There was quite an audible thud as the hot water hit the sink. I can relate. I hear so many audible thuds around where I live. <laughs> I just love that. She didn't get to experience a lot of what the world had to offer because most of her time was spent being uh, a part of the Sumeragi experiment. I'm just gonna say, Jewel really suffers throughout this game. I'm just- and the franchise as a whole. I'm not gonna get any further than that, but I'm just gonna say that there. <laughs> Jewel's reading a book from school. <laughs> she grabbed the hand towel that I gave her. <laughs> <laughs> the tears welled up in her eyes again. As expected of a former artist, she was pretty sensitive. Ah! <laughs> Conversations are just so cute. I hope I get uh, one of my favorite ones next time. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you guys waiting. I I 
gotta go to Cautious. I did tell you guys about that. Alright, let's strike at the second gauntlet. Now, I'm just gonna kinda say this. It's the same screen, pretty much. And... You'll probably notice this, but I'm gonna be using that same screen for pretty much all of the, uh... Ow. Pretty much all of the ow. Okay. Did I hit him? Okay. That's something I never knew about. Apparently, uh... Those, uh... Flashfield mines? Ah... Kind of pointless to come over here, but it's for a metal. I'm not too worried. And now I'm somewhat worried. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, all those, uh, barricades or whatever Monica called them. Yeah, they're like all over the place here. As well as the lasers. I'm probably gonna want to start taking care of these. Ouch. Yeah, I'm not really expecting high scores here or anything. I'm just going through these. As expected. Yeah, you know, if anything, I think I'm just gonna take the pervasion hits and go, because honestly, as long as I have EP to discharge, I can just effectively blaze through this with barely any issue. All I gotta do is just recharge occasionally. Okay. Now what? I had something... I was gonna say at some point. Oh yeah, I think I was gonna be talking more about the uh, one drama CD, Admiration of Peace, and how it's all about uh, Jules' time with GB and even members of Quill. And yes, I do mean members of Quill at one point. Which one should I talk about? Well, there's a couple in which Jewel actually interacts with the members of Quill. One is she goes to a temple where she's thinking, oh, there's these charms. These special charms that are so... You know what? I'm just not going to spoil it. She went there because she was looking for marriage charms. I mean, come on. We already, we've already got the hint at this point that she really, really has a thing for GP because of all that uh, he's done for her. I mean, that's no surprise. I mean, come on. Lumen teases him a couple times about... Oh, you'll have to watch the Let's Play itself for that kind of thing. I still can't get over the fact that uh, in pretty much the first conversation you have with Jewel when you start up the game... Oh my god, I navigated that like a champ! Just, how even did I pull that off? I always get hit there. I'm sorry, I got distracted from that. Whoa! Oh, baby, it Oh, wait. I need to remember, it's triple, not double. For that stupid mean thing. Okay. Data store's done, and... Hello, darkness, my old friend. You know what? I think now would be a good time to put this on. Honestly, I'm not too used to using air dashes, because, well, I'm more used to the air hawk. But, this is an exception because, well, it's the second part of the Stratacombs. And that means, well, there's stuff like that. Whoa! Yeah, there's stuff like that. And, obviously, the spikes on the ceiling at one point. That's more what I'm worried about. Ooh, I almost overheated there. Okay. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, um... Another one of the, uh... Ah. I hate those things! 
Okay, there's spikes there. Ouch! Come on! Yeah, can I just say I do not like the darkness part of this? Did I just shoot through? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna backtrack a little bit, because... Well, since now I can actually see, I won't have to worry too much about hazards. Especially those things, and I can just air dash my way there. Get used to air dashing, because I need to at some point. I'm probably gonna be using it when I get to Gunvolt 2. Okay. Yeah, it's just for money, but you know what? At this point, I do kind of need it if I want to get the Ambionolis Plus. Yeah, right there. That's what I was trying to avoid. Alright. So, back to Drama CD. What was I thinking again? Oh, right. The, uh, the stuff about Jewel meeting with the Quill members. Yeah, funny enough, she actually runs into Monica and Zeno at the uh, temple. Monica is basically after the same thing. Zeno, of course, being Zeno, is kind of looking at. Uh, what was he looking at? I don't know. Something. Something otaku related. That's all I can remember. Whoa! There we go. That's more like it. Yeah, go through here and, uh. If anything. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Uh, this would be where you get trapped, but you don't get trapped here. They kind of took that out. Ah! Those stupid things. Oh, hey, I got a level up. That should make level 52 now, I believe. Okay, let's try this. Ha-ha! I got away from you. Oh, God, I hate this part. Well, I'm gonna be here for a little bit. Because I need to... I think you actually do need the Naga for this one. Because I haven't really found out any other ways on how to do it. And then that one, you actually need to change it up so you have the red and green working together. And apparently it makes orange. Ah, again, that stupid thing there. It takes away all my septima. Or all my EP, whatever. Anyway, I just found it so funny that at one point, uh, Jewel actually is able to sneak out and meet Monica and Zeno. I just thought it was funny. The other thing is, uh, and I think this is the one I think is the most amusing. Zeno invites GV and Jewel to a karaoke bar. Or whatever you want to call them. It's one of those things where you get, like, this little, uh, spot, and you can sing stuff. Or you can, know, just relax, lounge. It's an entertainment thing. I think what I found most amusing is the fact that Asimov actually joins them for this. And at one point... And this, this is the amusing part. At one point, he actually straight up, in English, says, It's a miracle! I am seriously not kidding. He says that. Again, that's just what I find so amusing, is that he legit says that. Well, then again, it's Asimov, and in a couple of the uh, Story Mode Plus dialogues, he does somewhat speak English. His... Jap his voice actor. His Japanese voice actor, mind you, not Maxwell Powers. Yes, I know of Asimov's English VA. I mean, I've listened to the uh, trailer, and I've listened... Like, I've paid attention to the credits. I am so not getting a good score here. Ah, this spot. This is where we uh, found Elise originally. 
fuck? I think it's pretty obvious, uh, what we are going to be doing next. Yep. Elise is our boss. Kinda sucks, too. Cause, you know... Okay, there we go. Anyway, same boss, same deal. Not really much else I can say at this point. Good. I tagged them both. Ouch. I'm taking too long. Wait! I actually am surprised that that just came up there. Maybe this just means that I'm gonna... No, 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 no! Oh my god, I just got away with it. I just got away with it. I lucked out right there. But I was kind of surprised that I actually had Jeefy come up and say I'm taking too long. Oh! Ouch! Thankfully, I found all the medals, so at least I get some good stuff. Oh, hey, I needed that. But yeah, if you take too long in a level, uh, your score actually will go down. So you gotta try and do this as quick as you can. But then again, it, I did go back for that other stuff. Wow, my first C rank. Ouch. Then again, it's the gauntlet, and I was kind of expecting it. If I was going gutless, though, I'd probably get, like, if anything, at least A. And I wonder, can I make anything? I should be able to, at this point. Yes! Make the Sky Tether Band! I'll have to go back to the Stratacombs level again and go in there so I can make yet another one. Hello! Enables... This is new! I am serious, I have never seen this before at all! Blue Streak Band enables continuous air hops and air dashes, but prolongs overheat. Oh, ouch! Oh, I... I... It's so good, but the fact that it prolongs overheat. That's something that I... Ouch. Well. I'll have to think about that next time. But I never saw about... I never saw that. That's a first for me. I'm not kidding. I'm gonna have to go back to, I think, Pharma Lab to get the phase fluid metal for that. So, I'll have a little more grinding to do in between this and the next video. Next time, we take on the third gauntlet. Yeah, I think this video's gone on long enough. So, until then, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, maybe subscribe, and additional info in the lower left box in the video and down in the description below. I am Matt, also known as Game Rebel, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Gunvolt. Sayonara for now.